What's happening guys, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I bought myself this Mountain Wolf number Q7 retractable two uh, mode, essentially, flashlight with LED flashlight. And I uh, wanted to show it to you. I opened it up here and kind of took a little quick peek at it. Um, I think it's basically a lantern and a flashlight. And the construction is all plastic. It's kind of got this black you know shiny finish on everything but it's plastic uh, it kind of reminds me of like Darth Vader's helmet um, it might look a little metal and actually it looked metal to me it has the silicone power button right there uh, the red bands here are like a rubber or silicone too and so they're they're actually gaskets kind of for this lens and you can unscrew this top all the way to kind of get to that element I don't know why you need to but there it is that's uh, the kind of the LED element right there for the flashlight portion you know one of the reasons I thought maybe this was um, metal is it has these fins on it which I thought were for heat mitigation kind of uh, venting off uh, excess LED element heat and maybe they are but you know, generally this plastic should stay pretty cool. And then on the back here in the, is uh, where the handle portion kind of pulls apart. So you have this, these LED on board with this uh, concave reflective surface. So you have effectively a little lantern here as well. Now I'm assuming that you toggle between the modes with the button there. Now there's also on the back end here a little magnet so theoretically you should be able to set this on to something uh, and it'll kind of hold it in place. So we will test that and see how strong that is. The back end here comes off and then this part opens up and you can see that it might be a little hard but it's kind of a deep battery well and they're for AAA so I'm going to put them like the indicator suggests looks like negative is up on that side and positive should be up on this side so it takes four double A's screw this back in and now I'm not sure why it says on and off like that because it doesn't seem to indicate the way the cap comes off it just goes on like that and I'll pull this open let's see all right so I pressed it once and I've got a pretty nice bright flashlight press it again and it goes off press it a third time and the lantern portion comes on and press it a fourth time and it goes off and my guess is we'll go back to the flashlight here. Now I wonder if the half steps, it does not appear that there's any intermediate steps if I just tap the silicone uh, button there. So looks like it's just on and off. So you've got a nice bright flashlight there and a uh, very bright lantern right there so let's get it in the dark and try it out room completely blacked out flashlight quite powerful as you'd expect from an LED flashlight but let's try the lantern and that's kind of what I'm most interested in and man that really I mean it lights up the whole room so you've got a really nice lantern here um, I suppose you could even control I think the output a little bit by just squishing it down. So if it was too bright, you could kind of just press the handle in there and regulate the light however you want it. So if you wanted a little less light because you're in your tent, if you wanted a little more light to help light up a campsite, something like that, uh, you have um, a really powerful light. Now the other thing that's interesting is because this lantern is only on one side, you can really use it to focus light in one particular direction. And you can also stick it to something, 
metal and it should stick. So let's see how right. good that So magnet. I have the flashlight here with the magnet on this end and standing in front of my refrigerator and I'm gonna put it on there and look at that. I was actually worried about it being extended out all the way and that it would have too much weight out here and it would just pull it off. But that is one strong magnet. In fact, if I try to pull it off, uh, it, it sticks on there really well. So as we were talking about directing that lantern light, you could certainly stick it to something horizontally, um, you know, if you had a metal pole or something like that. Uh, or to be honest, if you could stick it to the side of your car or on the roof, if you needed it to be a signal. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Flashlight lantern combo, check it out. Now, as I promised, the last thing I'll say is this one's gonna be a giveaway too. So if you like this product, I'm gonna send it to you. Uh, you pick up uh, um, this online on Amazon if you like it so much and don't win the the giveaway but uh, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel uh, and comment below on the video any comment will enter you in this but uh, the only two countries that are going to be eligible because it's the only places I can afford to ship it to are the US and Canada at this point so in your comment anywhere in the comment just put the country that you live in USA or Canada if you live in another country uh, I am working hard to try to figure out how to get you guys uh, some of these cool products as well so I will select a winner next week on January 14th, 2017. Peter Von Panda, out.